What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue with the 60 Days In, Season 2, Episode 2. I've been reading in the comments that, you know, the picture's too small and I'm bigger. Look, I got to do it that way. Or else we're not going to watch anything. So, I can't make the picture bigger. If, if you don't like it, then, then move on. I'm not changing it. So, that's the only way it's going to be uploaded on here, on my channel, is, is the way I'm doing it. So... If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. So we're going to get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, let's drop right into it. Man, she looks scared. <laughs> Look, keep it moving, Ryan. Keep it moving. Don't worry about what's going on, man. My name is Ryan, I'm 27 years old, and I'm from Kentucky. I joined the U.S. Army, specifically the Army Reserves, at 19 as uh, active duty. Got good training, learned a lot about uh, being a medic. Overall, I'm a very logical, rational, uh, systematic person. I'm always thinking about uh, things that most people couldn't wrap their mind around, even if they tried to, studied for years. First thing. Okay, man, we get it. How tall are you? Five, seven. You think you're up here above everybody else? I know you got a smile on your face and you're nice, but I kind of feel creepy. You know? Why is that? I don't know. You, Some cops people make don't creepy. like the police. And then why did you sign out. up? I used to believe in, in, in law enforcement. I used to really... That makes no sense to me. ...did their jobs. But after my daughter um, went through her experience, I don't really have the respect I used to have for them. I don't like law enforcement. I don't respect cops, but I'm going to go undercover in a, in a cop program. She was on the dean's list when she got arrested, for God's sake. And now she's a caged animal. They don't think of her, you know, as anything else but a criminal. If their house is broken into, they love us. If their children Say are she don't trust cops, she don't have no respect for them. But she's letting them put her handcuffs on them. I think about I don't know I got my fingers crossed and I'm praying that nothing happens to her while I'm in here because ultimately this is for her and this is for the people who need to see a change in the system I can already see she's gonna be full of drama I don't know what way but she is or Ryan <laughs> Ryan might be Pregnant? No. Not feeling suicidal, like you hurt yourself or anyone else? No, just nervous. Okay. That's why I want to speak to the manager haircut right there. Man, how many people are they going to put up in there, man? That thing already looks overcrowded. classification pod I sit underneath the stairs because you see people coming from in front of you and to the left of you and you're less likely to get ambushed it's like an odd summer camp for people who don't fit into society they are somebody here hey, hold up I gotta tell y'all a funny story real quick I remember I think it was the first time I was locked up in jail right I had to sleep on the floor too there was no room or anything like that I slept on the floor but I snore Right? I snore a lot. Especially when I'm on my back. And it's like... <sighs> you know, I be snoring, right? So I guess I dozed off and I, I woke up. These people put damn hot sauce and pepper in my mouth, man. To wake me up. Thought it was funny. I almost choked on that shit. I was like, what? I was like, what the hell, man? <laughs> yeah. Put a pepper all in my mouth, man. I, don't know, I just want to let y'all know that. It just reminded me of when he said he was sleeping on, on the floor and shit. So, let's go. Close the door behind you, sir. Don't slam it. It's a rare opportunity to spend time in jail. Don't slam it. 
Basically, I'm a student of corrections and I hope to learn the inner workings of the facility from the inside. Phase one, F-Pod was made up of mostly older inmates. This time around, F-Pod is completely different. They're younger, volatile, and a more unpredictable group. This is my home away from home, I guess you could say now. We got all these new girls, and they're all young and loud and rude. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Hood rats. <laughs> That's what they are. Junkies. remember getting my training and you know the captain's like you need to be on the bottom floor okay well you're not in there and I've got women that are twice my size telling me you are going upstairs twice we your never size had participant take a cell on the top tier the inmates on the top tier are more veteran and what to be the troublemakers <laughs> they know how the system works and they can be a real threat to first timers having a participant go to the top tier is really dangerous I mean, how, how do you see yourself? We went upstairs, and there was only one area for me to go, and it was with a girl named Mackenzie. Oh, I remember this shit. Video going. Kind of a little spacey. What are you doing? It's a crazy thing how many people are like proud that they're drug addicts. Like, why are you proud about that? I don't know. This is so disgusting. I've never seen anything like that. That was like some stuff that you would see in a foreign country. I would have never expected American jails to look like that on the inside. Your first few moments in jail, I guess. What do you think Say, that it was? How was your first few moments in jail? Oh, my first few moments in jail have been a stone cold gas, honey. If that's what they say on Soul Train, but uh, it's disgusting. <laughs> that, if nothing else, I'll say What is happening right now? <laughs> You know, I started to think about my daughter and like what it felt like when she walked in and how was she acting. I feel like, you know, I can sense her pain a little bit. I can sense her fear. I can sense the, the feelings that she had. And it's overwhelming me a little bit. Where's the other guy? when they were touching the space and all that. The average IQ in there is probably lower than what I'm used to in, say, college. What I don't understand is how the f*** are you caught up making fake checks and the f*** you just got out of the military. It's very easy. You're not drawing any money from your, your military? And you don't draw no monthly employment from your military. They questioned me rapidly like who's this where's that where's this other thing i've kind of been there so prove to me and i was just like having to fire off a bunch of stuff he's intelligent but he's awful awful yeah, he called you out right away he's been in the military for eight years and he's got a four year degree in college yeah no. how's that work well i'm just looking for my pin number <laughs> Hiding anything? I tell you what, some of these, some inmates I came across are dumb as hell, man. You would not believe how dumb they are. Everybody, all they gonna be in your business. 
Come on, man. High on heroin? Really? I told y'all. Some of these inmates are dumb. Keeping things in my bra clearly caused some controversy because people were portraying that maybe I had contraband down there. You know, people are addicts. Huh? People are addicts, you feel me? Mm -hmm. yeah. I just have some phone kids and feeling that was stupid. Look at her, man. Anybody hot? Make a little short talk and then he gets right out, you know. So what do you I have in there? I'm going to see him be mad about the girls' pockets. You know, you're in here for drugs. <laughs> what do you got? You up in there, huh? Okay. No, they're not. I know. Well, I know. But, well, see, we all share. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're good. Don't just say it. You don't get out of my face. Wow. They've convinced yeah, me that I've got heroin of all things on me. I, I, I am just so in shock. Already. He's a model citizen. Like that, like when they come to jail, they get spit out. Real watch him, boy. He's got wires. I'm worried about Ryan blowing his cover. Once inmates are suspect you as a plant, it's almost impossible to shake that suspicion. They're gonna be watching you all the time. I think he becomes friends with somebody in there, though, if I'm not mistaken. I forget who, though. And they go by his word or something. I can't remember. I could be wrong. being threatened. I can hear them saying what they're going to do. They're taunting me, and I'm scared. I want them drugs. Drug addicts. Fiends, scavengers. Fighting, they, you thought you were going to be in a fight? If I were you, I'd much rather fight in a day room, because we have cameras all over that place. Whereas in the cell, I can't tell you if I did or not, you know, if I got eyes on you or not. The really big girl Brenda, and then like like five of the girls that stay in her pod were all out there. They were literally there was no escaping. They about to jump her. I don't know what's coming. I'm I don't know what to do. All right. Oh. Oh, they're just talking. I'm panicked because you've got a bunch of girls who are addicted to drugs and think I have drugs on me, and they want them, and I don't know how to defend myself in this situation. I don't know what to do. I don't do drugs. I don't know. I mean, I take Adderall. That's a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to call old girl out. They about to fight? What's going on? One of the most dangerous places in the jail is behind the curtain. It blocks the limited visibility that we have in the cells. And usually that's where the inmates go to fight. I didn't bring her name in. What is it? Oh. It didn't come from her. What did they say to you? Tell me the girls over here. Want to come in. I didn't say the girls over there. I said there's girls. I didn't say which oh, girls. Was that was over there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we were going to jump her. I didn't say that. Don't. That is not what I Oh. 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 Go fight. Hey, whipping up on her. Say so you going to tell the girl to jump her? We going to jump you. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's that episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, then I haven't sent Ashley in there yet. So I'm guessing that's next episode. Or that one dude who said it was all excited about going. I forget his name already. But whatever happened to the guy that, the, the, when they were touching him in the first episode? They didn't show him at all. He's got to be in the next episode. But I'll tell you what. You ain't going to put your hands on me. Got one time. You, you, 
coming in six feet of space. It's a wrap. I throw the tortilla shell. It's a wrap. <laughs> ah! No, nah, I'm joking, y'all. But uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Looks like we're good to go now. Uh, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.